Hello and welcome to Layla's World. So, I'm Layla, and today I'm I'm I really like history, especially like colonial times. So today I'm doing a little video called "What You Need to Dress as a Colonial Girl" because I made myself a colonial girl. So let's get into the video. So the first thing you're going to need is a long skirt. So here, so. This is one of the long skirts that I often use. It's very pretty. And it goes down to like my ankles. And then the other long skirt that I um, have used is this one, which goes down also to like my ankles. And they're both very beautiful. So you can really use any long skirt. So then, the next thing you need is, um, like, a, a pretty shirt, like, maybe a lacy shirt. I have a lacy shirt. I have a few lacy sh shirts. Um, here's one of them, and then they, it has a matching skirt for the costume. And then I also have a blue one that's exactly the same. So, something like this, but you can really use any, like, lacy shirt. So then the next thing you're going to need is a bum roll. So they would wear bum rolls with their butts lifted under their skirt. And I actually sewed myself a bum roll. You just, you know, tie it on. I'm not actually going to tie it on, but if you want to see what it looks like under a skirt, I'm wearing shorts. Um, uh, it just is like, I just have to hold it here, but... That makes your butt stick out. So you wear it under your long skirt. And you can sew yourself something like this. Or you can really just stuff anything in there. Like a good thing is to use a tutu or something. And then just bunch it up and tuck it in your pants. And then the last thing you need is a cape. But I think my cape's downstairs. And the cape is actually optional. Then if you want, it's also optional. A mob cap, which is like a lacy white kind of hat. That they would wear. So that's all you need to be a colonial girl. Bye!